So, some folks believe in a cycle in universe, suggesting that the Big Bang is when space gets really hot and packed with particles. For almost 60 years, the Big Bang theory has been our go-to for understanding the start of the cosmos, going from hot, dense matter to what we see today. As the universe expanded, it formed protons, neutrons, light elements, stable atoms, and eventually, stars, galaxies, planets, the whole shebang. Now, after 13.8 billion years, we're here, still studying the expanding universe, trying to figure out how it all began. But, wait a minute. Some scientists, like physicist Brian Cox, aren't sold on the Big Bang being the grand beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope even challenges the Big Bang, suggesting it might not be the ultimate starting point. Today, let's dive into the origins of the universe and question if the Big Bang was really the kickoff in our episode of Ice 200M. The term, Big Bang, was coined over 20 years after the idea was proposed, ironically by Fred Hoyle, a critic of the theory. Back in the day, Hoyle preferred the idea of a steady-state cosmology, dismissing the Big Bang as irrational. But, hold on, the original Big Bang idea wasn't about all matter exploding in one moment, it was more about the universe itself emerging from non-being. Einstein's theory of general relativity shook up our understanding of gravity, tying space and time into a single fabric, space-time. Einstein added a cosmological constant to his equations to counter gravitational collapse. Later, Alexander Friedman's equations hinted at a dynamic universe. By 1927, Georges Lemaitre deduced that the universe expanded from a single point, a cosmic egg or primeval atom, laying the groundwork for the Big Bang. Einstein eventually admitted adding the cosmological constant was his greatest blunder. George Gamow, in the 1940s, predicted key aspects of the young universe, setting the stage for what we now know as the Big Bang. Over the years, evidence like the cosmic microwave background and light element abundances backed the Big Bang theory. But, what about the beginning of time? The 1980s introduced the idea of cosmological inflation, challenging the singularity concept. Inflation suggests the universe expanded exponentially without a singular start, explaining many cosmic mysteries. Recent findings by the James Webb Space Telescope show ancient galaxies, challenging our previous ideas about the early universe. These galaxies are shockingly big and contain surprisingly old stars, raising questions about our current understanding of cosmic evolution. As we uncover more, it seems the Big Bang might not be the absolute beginning. Our understanding evolves, just like the universe itself. Stay curious because the more we learn, the more fascinating our cosmic journey becomes. And remember, it's never too late to catch up on the latest discoveries. Feel free to let me know if you have any specific adjustments or additional points you'd like to include.